Go. Hi, I'm Marilyn Pratt. I'm a community advocate for the SAP Community Network, and I'm here at the gamification event, the InnoJam in SAP Ticket, Las Vegas 2011. And I was lucky enough to have a, a very quick and serendipitous meeting with Jane Magonico, and I had a question that I wanted to ask her, um, really in relation to our upcoming event, which is the event called Embracing Inclusion, Driving Innovation, and it is a event that will be held here on Wednesday night. Uh, inclusion is what I wanted to ask about in the realm of, of gamification, and we have a kind of thesis around having a more productive outcome, having a more inclusive mm -hmm. uh, development environment. So For I sure. wondered what your experiences are For sure. uh, as a woman, yeah. as a um, a different kind of thing? Yeah, yeah, for sure. So, I mean, of course, I'm I'm very much a believer that crowdsourcing and collective intelligence requires a diversity of participants. I mean, that's just scientifically backed. We know that's true. Um, gamification is particularly interesting because we know that different kinds of people like different kinds of games or respond to different game mechanics. So, for instance, men tend to be more engaged by competition, um, direct competition against other players. They're also more engaged by leaderboards where they can have sort of social comparison. Women are very turned off by leaderboards. If they see a leaderboard, they drop out. Um, they don't like direct competition. They prefer to either cooperate and collaborate or to uh, just support other people and what they're doing. Doing, give positive feedback, uh, give give help. So um, that's one thing to think about just from a gender point of view. You don't want to make a gamification application that's only going to appeal to men because it's really competitive and points-based leaderboards. You want to think about the women players too. Um, in terms of age diversity, that's really interesting too because we know that uh, although one in four gamers are 50 years old or older, um, if you start to get 50 years old or older, they're not quite as familiar with games and game platforms, so it's good to have those members involved in usability and design and testing so you can see, does this actually work for people who maybe haven't spent 20 hours a week growing up playing games? So that's the kind of thing that can really be helpful. If you want to make the gamification app that will engage everybody, um, and that's uh, thinking about the kinds of games people like and their, their experience with game platforms can be really helpful. Thank you very much. Sure. Good question. Thank you for thinking about it.